everybody. My name is Taja. Um, I'm also the owner and creator of Made by Taja. Um, so this basically, I just wanted to go ahead and start a YouTube channel and talk about how you get started on sublimation. So this first video is going to be called Sublimation for Dummies. So that way we can just get the basics down pack of what we're going to need and what we're going to do and how we're going to do it. So, um, first I want to say, um, you can do this pretty, I'm pretty sure anybody who is doing this is going to have either a silhouette or, um, or a cricket machine. So, uh, you can actually use these either program. Uh, I personally prefer a design space that comes with cricket, uh, because it's easier to me <laughs> and I actually just know how to work it really good. Um, you're going to also need a heat and press or I've seen people do sublimation with a, um, a easy press, but like I personally wouldn't like those because I know you for some things you just have to um, have certain pressures and all that settings and everything and we'll get more into that later so right now we're just going to go over everything you're going to need and what is sublimation uh so sublimation first of all is basically and in, basically infused ink when you are putting it into your fabric uh just like how you got the infusible ink with cricut um it got to be 100 percent polyester or high count in polyester i say 100 percent. some people say high uh high count they do 65 percent or above i prefer personally 95% or above the better um the more polyester you have in your fabric the more your colors are going to pop so um you are actually going to print these out on a special paper which is called sublimation paper which i now use oops i'm dropping stuff so which i now use custom creations wholesale sublimation paper um so i will be sure to leave you all with the link so you can purchase this paper uh awesome paper great you know um so that would be one of the things you're going to be needing um and then another thing is the printers so the printers uh you could choose anywhere from an eco tank or a workforce to convert into a sublimation printer these are not sublimation printers so keep in mind any warranty or anything that you have once you put this sublimation ink in there it's kind of voided and they're not going to um they're not going to honor any of that once they know that sublimation ink is in there now if you can get away with getting a refund if something happens to your printer down the road or whatever the case may be and they don't know sublimation ink is in there then by all means go ahead and do what you need to do so but i will let you know that since these are not sublimation printers that they um that they will not fool with it once they know that sublimation ink is in there i know right sucks but it's okay um but personally i personally love the eco tank um the workforces you have epson you can only use epson only um epson workforces you have to do the um blank ink cartridges i do not prefer those because of the simple fact that i i just seen a lot of problems with you know putting the ink in them and doing this and doing that and got uh, it's just a lot to me switching out the cartridges you have to buy the blank cartridges and fill them up with the sublimation ink put it into your printer and uh, yeah uh, uh i would not want to do all that the eco tank epson eco tanks are amazing i started off with an eco tank 2720 it only do it does up to eight and a half by 14 uh paper uh, but mainly for them, I just use eight and a half by 11. It's not a lot of, uh, it's not a lot of eight and a half by 14 pieces of paper. So I just did the regular standard size paper, but that's what I started off with because I was not sure if I wanted to do this, but once I got into it, it would, did not take me long. I was like, okay, yep. I need a bigger printer and a bigger paper, all of that. So now I do have the Eco Tank 15,000. Um, that's what you're going to be seeing me convert over. And once you see me convert, the way you see me convert over my Eco Tank 15,000 is going to be the same way you do your Eco Tank 2720 or whichever other one you, that you decide to get. Um, so just keep in mind, once you get these printers, do not put regular ink in them. Once you put regular ink in them, it is a lot of work to clean that ink out. And yeah, to me, it's a done deal. I, I've seen people do it. I've heard people doing it. 
but to me personally it would be a done deal i would not fool with it so once you get these printers keep in mind toss the ink that comes with it you can save it you might you ain't got to toss it you can save it but do not use that in your printer that you're going to be using for sublimation you can actually also keep the caps of the uh, inks that's what you can do keep the caps of the ink so when you purchase inks you will be um it will be uh you could use the the tops to Put it into your eco tank you'll see what i'm talking about because you don't need needles or anything to convert it in the eco tanks because the way it has it set up the ink cartridges are already inside of the the um the printer i guess that's why it's called a tank eco tank so it's very very helpful that all you do is turn the bottle upside down on the color that you want to put it in and it, the color goes straight in the ink goes straight in love it so um uh, another thing ink so right now i use um Cosmos, uh, they are the number one African American uh, company that is selling sublimation ink, and I will show you what their boxes look like. Wait just one moment. So, this is what their ink looks like when it comes in. They have a Facebook page. They have a YouTube page. Uh, I'm pretty sure they have an Instagram. I don't follow all that stuff because I don't really get into it. But yes, Facebook, Instagram, their pages are bomb. Their videos are bomb. Like they are very helpful. These are some, this is some bomb ink, period. Period. Okay. So definitely feel free to look into that. Um, there's definitely other inks out there. Um, just get what works for you whatever whatever makes you happy you know so uh we're gonna yeah so we're pretty much gonna go over all that oh yeah heat tape you're gonna need heat tape make sure when you get your heat intake that it is something that can stand over 400 degrees okay i've heard a lot of people say oh my gosh my tape is leaving yellow marks on my on my shirts and whatever the case may be but guess what their heat in, their heat tape just because it's heat tape that is that doesn't mean it's going to be okay for sublimation so uh some heat tape they only last i mean they're only good up to what 350 degrees or whatever the case may be a lot of stuff we're going to be doing is going to be 400 degrees for 60 seconds okay so be mindful i think mines that i have go up to like 485 degrees okay that's good i don't really go over 400 really so that's fine um, but I'm going to show y'all a lot of things that we're going to be making. We're going to be doing mouse pads. We're going to be doing keychains. We're going to be doing phone cases. We're going to be doing blankets. We're going to be doing all kind of stuff. So just definitely, if you have any questions, definitely feel free to leave um, a comment at the bottom. Uh, definitely subscribe. If you subscribe and let me know that you're watching, we will continue. I mean, I will continue to make the video. So uh, the videos. So, um, yeah, just definitely feel free to let me know what you think. And um, keep in mind, we need sublimation paper. We need uh, sublimation ink, workforce, Epson workforce printer or an Epson eco tank printer. OK, and did I do? Oh, yeah. Sublimation tape as well. I mean, heat tape. That's a sublimation tape. Heat tape as well. OK. So those are really, really, really important. And um, oh yeah, butcher paper or parchment paper. Make sure you get the parchment paper that has no, um, what I think it's like a no wax or whatever on it, something like that. I think it's what's supposed to say. I just always get this and it works great. Y'all know what that is. Walmart, okay? So people use the ones from Dollar Tree. People order butcher paper off Amazon. I just get this and it, it does well for me. So whatever floats your boat. And also, yes, a lint roller for when you get into your um, doing like shirts and stuff. A lint roller is very, very important. And you will definitely see why if you don't use one, okay? All those follicles that are on shirts that cannot stand 400 degrees for 60 seconds while you're doing your sublimation, they will turn blue, Okay. You don't want that to happen because then you got little blue specks all over your shirt and it's like, oh my God. Yeah, I've had that happen before. So, yes, definitely get you a lint roller as well, okay? Um, So, yeah, I'll be trying to, I'll check in and try to post a video at least every 
every week, hopefully. That's that is definitely my plan to post every week. Or just when I learn something new and I want to get on here and do it. That's what I plan on doing. So thank every I just want to thank everybody for tuning in. Everybody who's watching this, uh, this is going to be a nice little journey for us. Um, if you want to follow my personal pages, I am um, made by Taja, just like my YouTube channel states. And you can follow me on YouTube. I mean, you can follow me on um, Facebook. Uh, you can follow me also on Instagram. My name is still the same. Okay. And then, of course, subscribe to me on here as well so you can let me know that you're watching and you want to watch these videos okay all right well y'all have a great day or great rest of your night it's nighttime here i should be in bed but y'all have a great rest of your night and i will see you all soon and yeah thanks for tuning in to sublimation for dummies let's get started